Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the Apex Challenge, uh, getting these 18 funded accounts funded. I'm trading 20 accounts in total with my uh, trade comp here. I trade two of my personal accounts with 18 funded accounts, and I'm just documenting the journey to get them all funded and get the first payout from all the accounts. So if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. If you try that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. It's been lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, and lots of pain, but over time I became more consistent, and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Here are the accounts. I just took the screenshot uh, yesterday and you can see the date, all the accounts. I just blanked out my username and we have the PL, the days I've been trading it, how long, and uh, the current account balance. So at the bottom, you can see we have two PA accounts now. If you're new here, you haven't seen the beginning of this, I'll link the first video up in the cards where we started mo this challenge with most of these accounts at 50,000. Now we're here about three weeks in. We have two PA accounts, meaning we got the account from 50,000 to 53,000. Um, the one PA, PA account is at uh, 50,500. Once it's at a PA account, it's real money. So that is real money. This above is not real money yet until we get to 53,000 and pay the activation fee. We're doing good. We're ch chugging along. Just a bit about my strategy. I'm basically risking half a percent every trade. I'm taking about three trades a day and I'm trading 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. as well as 2 to 3 p.m. if there's opportunities, but most of the trades are between 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. using the five minute chart and the one minute chart. That's about it, and we're trading NQ. So in about three weeks, you can see that we're up mainly about 1,500 to uh, 1,700 on the accounts. We have one account getting close at about 52,200, and the rest are sitting at that 51,600 or so. We've just been risking half a percent. I've been using one contract every trade and all of my trades are either 1R or 2R, which means I'm risking the same amount as my take profit or I'm making a little more than my take profit. I'm not taking any setups if the risk reward ratio is less than one and pretty much none of my trades are more than a two to one. It's either a one to one, 1.5 or a two to one. Example would be like if, you know, a setup comes on NQ, maybe I am getting in a long with a stop loss of 15 points and my take profit is 25 points or it's 30 points or my take profit is 15 points, but the stop is about 15 points. So I'm, I'm risking only 1% or less than 1% because I'm using one contract uh, per trade and I'm taking a maximum of about three, three trades per morning. So now that we can see all the accounts, let's dive into the trading week and we'll go over the trades that I took and we'll see why we took them and if they are winners or losers. All right, so starting off on Monday, we actually did not take any trades. Uh, there was no clean, amazing setup. So we will skip past Monday. We'll go over to Tuesday. Tuesday took this short, uh, it was a loss, 18 points. Took this short because the five minute was bearish and we uh, came up and had a, re a reversal candle. So we were just going with the market structure, targeting new lows, got stopped out. Uh, took another trade with market structure. We had another reversal candle after market structure was bullish. Bullish because we broke above the highs to the left here, came back, pushed up again, and we were kind of consolidating. Got this higher low reversal candle closing to the upside. So target was new highs to the left, stop was below that reversal candle low, uh, using some MAs as support. And we took that one. And uh, this was also a scalp, uh, one to one. That was on the one minute chart. Uh, but we'd be, we'd be end of this day, uh, s slightly green, just up a, a few points. So let's go over to Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday was FOMC. So it was tricky. Uh, we did take this loss, about a 10 point loss. Uh, we, we took this long because we made a low, pushed up, made a higher low and higher high. So both market structure came down to support to the left, had a reversal candle, got in the long, targeted the highs to the left, stopped below this low, uh, got stopped out for 10 points. So we were down, you know, just you know, basically break even on the week. Uh, FOMC happened. We took some scalps in the one minute chart that put us up a little bit on the week, but uh, Thursday and Friday we uh, took some winners. So Thursday, uh, market opened higher low here, uh, pushed up, it came in resistance to the left, got rejected, but then came into the order block to the left and had a reversal candle to the upside. So got in the long, targeted the highs to the left, plus 23 points. Uh, that basically did most of the legwork for the week. That got us pretty much all of our profits. And then you come over to uh, Friday, we took a trade, very small size, uh, at about 2.45, uh, 2.55 p.m., no trades in the morning, um, and uh, it was a 15 point win. Uh, reason why we took this one, because uh, we made a low, pushed up, got rejected, pushed up, so higher low, higher high, came down, nice reversal candle, just taking liquidity from the order block, closing up, 
looking like we wanted to take out the highs to the left, got in the long stops below that low, targeted the high, plus 15 points. And that's basically what got us about $600 profit on every single account on the Apex accounts. So in total, we were up about $600. Uh, on most of the accounts for the week and because of that uh, it totaled about 10 to 12,000 for the week so we are up about about call it 10,000 US for these accounts and then up uh, more on some other accounts but um, just you know the Apex accounts alone we're up 10 10k for the week so that is awesome uh, again not real money because we have to get these to 53,000 first but um, this is what we we're we we're looking for anywhere from being consistent with 500 to a thousand per week because you know a thousand per week is about twenty thousand per week once these are all funded and i don't want to be taking more than one percent risk per trade because you you only have five percent room so if you take five percent drawdown then uh, you lose the accounts so if i have one percent risk i would have to lose five times in a row to blow the accounts uh, and it's that's possible that can happen but it's extremely extremely unlikely but you know if you take more than one if you take take two percent risk you know, three trades and you're you're out, and that that can definitely happen. Three losses in a row, for sure. Even if you have a very high win rate strategy, eighty percent win rate, it can happen. It can happen. Or you know, there's also human error. You could you could just screw up. You could be off today. You could take a trade that's not your setup on top of two losses that were your setup, and you lost the account. So, I'm risking half a percent or one percent. Uh, typically a little bit under 1% every trade and because of that I would have to lose more than five times in a row to blow the accounts and that is very unlikely for my strategies because they're higher win rate so if I just keep this up with a smaller size then I'll most likely continue to average anywhere from 500 to 1000 per week in profits and that is great because then I'll be averaging anywhere from about 10,000 to 20,000 per week with these accounts so follow along the journey take a look for next weekend when I uh, post the update of where we're at at the end of this coming up trading week. Uh, happy holidays because uh, it's going to be about going into uh, Christmas at the end of next week. So make sure you follow along the journey if you're interested in seeing me get my first payout with all of these accounts. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it. Uh, it really lets me know that you like these kind of videos and I do appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.